2015 OAUG orientation. My name is Anna Gross, and in less than 30 minutes to date, you will know where to find all of the important information that you need to make your work life easier. We are recording today's session, so everyone is in listen-only mode. If you do have any questions or technical difficulties, please type them into the question box in your control panel, and I'll be happy to help you as we go throughout the webinar. All right, everyone, let's get started. Let's do a quick overview of the OAUG and what we do here. We are an international users group, and we serve thousands of members all over the world. We're working every day to connect you with each other and the information that you need to be successful. We do this by focusing on three main things, education, networking, and influence. As far as education goes, we want to provide you with the educational resources that you need to make your work life easier. In the way of networking, we want to connect you with your peers so that you can have those user-to-user -user conversations and really learn from each other. We're also going to connect you with vendors who can offer that outside advice and perspective. And of course, we're also going to connect you with Oracle. We're going to help you influence the Oracle community. We want to help you stay on top of all of the latest and greatest news in the Oracle world and influence when and how they release those products. We are here to help you improve efficiency, enhance problem solving, and spark innovation. So, what will benefit from the OAUG membership? Well, these are just a few of the job titles that we see most often, but we really are here to help anyone and everyone who utilizes Oracle applications on a daily basis. So if you see your job title here, you are certainly in the right place. Another question that we get frequently is which applications are covered? If you use the applications that you see here on the screen, then you are certainly talking to the right group of people. Here we have listed the applications that we cover under OAUG membership. Although most of our members do fall into the EDS and Hyperion categories, we have information on all of the applications that you see listed here and more. Two questions that we are commonly and frequently asked here at the OAUG are displayed here on your screen. The first is, is there a limit to the number of OAUG member logins that can be set up under our membership? Now, normally in the business world, no is not the answer that you want to hear. But in this case, that is a great answer, and the answer is no. You are welcome to add as many of your colleagues as necessary under your company membership. And because we do cover so many different applications here at the OAUG, we do often have organizations with many, many, many colleagues listed under that company organization membership. Um, one of our largest companies, in fact, has almost a thousand colleagues and employees of that company listed under their OAUG membership. And that is quite all right, and we certainly encourage you to work with your OAUG ambassador to make sure that everyone in your organization has access to all of our member benefits through your organization's membership. And I can certainly help you with that if you have any questions or concerns about that. The second question that we see quite often here at the OAUG is, when using our OAUG member login, does it cost extra to access member benefits? And the answer, again, is no. When you have an active OAUG membership, you should be able to access all of the member benefits that we offer without any additional cost or charges. And certainly, if you do log in to the OAUG website and would like to access anything and you get any error messages or you're prompted to pay a fee, I certainly encourage you to go ahead and contact us right away, and we'll be happy to help with that. As an OAUG member, you do have access to all of the benefits that we offer here with OAUG membership. Here at the OAUG, we are focused on helping you enhance your knowledge and make your work life easier. One of the best ways to do this is by attending conferences and events and really having the opportunity to hear what other people are doing and why and how they arrived at that decision. Collaborate and Connection Point events are an absolutely wonderful place to do this. Our biggest conference of the year is called Collaborate, and it normally takes place in August. We put on this conference. It's a large conference with two other users groups, Quest and IOUG. 
Because all three of these users groups are coming together to present content, to offer networking and educational opportunities, it really is a tremendous conference. And it allows our members um, and all of our attendees to really enhance that networking and education across many, many different ORFL applications and technology platforms. So, as a member, not only do we want you to come, but we also want to give you a discount on that big conference. So, as an OAUG member, you will save $380 per person on Collaborate registration. Now, Connection Point events are smaller, more intimate conferences that focus on a specific product line or industry. So, um, they are much smaller, as I mentioned, and because it's such a more focused topic area, it really does give our attendees the opportunity to network with each other and have those really in-depth discussions. We actually have a Connection Point app tech event coming up um, in July. And I certainly encourage you, if you um, are an app tech person, to check that out on our website. And I'll show you exactly where that is. As an OEUG member, you also save $100 per person at face-to-face -face, face -face Connection Point events. Um, However, the connection point that we do have coming up later in this month, July, is going to be an online conference to really allow you um, to really allow our attendees to kind of dial in from the comfort of their own office. We do know that July is a big travel month for many people, so hopefully this will make that a lot easier to enjoy that vacation and get the education that you need. And again, I'll show you exactly where to access that information in just a few minutes. We also want to help you enhance your knowledge in a variety of ways because we know that everyone learns in a different way. One of the best ways to learn is through our e-learning events. You can join these live events and have a chance to talk with a presenter or other members. And you can also, as an OAUG member, always access the recorded e-learning sessions through our website 24-7. All of our e-learning sessions are recorded and archived on the site for your convenience. And I'll show you exactly where to access those um, in just a little bit when we take a tour of our website. We do have some e-learning events that are coming up in the next few weeks. You'll see um, we have one on Tuesday, July 14th, the woes of the period in process, as well as one on that Friday, July 17th, using the beast we call Subledger Accounting SLA with Process Manufacturing. So if either of those topics are of interest to you, I certainly encourage you to check those out and go ahead and register for those e-learnings today. If you are someone who prefers to learn via reading, to actually print out um, that paper and take a pen and a highlighter to it and mark up your comments, your thoughts, and ways that it can help you, well then, never fear. Perhaps e-learnings aren't the best way for you, but we do also offer all of our members our conference paper database. We do have more than 5,000 white papers ready for our members. You can search through these white papers by keyword, topic, author, different tracks, and many, many more criteria. If you are not logged in to the OAUG website as a member, when you do go to search this conference paper database, you will have the opportunity to read the abstract, which you will not be able to access the full white paper, or in most cases, the presentation that's linked to it. So if you are looking for um, just some general information on the cloud, on um, Hyperion, on EBS, on stuff like that, I certainly encourage you to check out our conference paper database first and use those keywords. I think you'll be absolutely um, astounded and hopefully very thrilled with the number of papers that come up for each topic. And again, I'll show you exactly where to access that in just a few minutes. We also want to help you stay up to date by sharing the most up-to-date information from Oracle and from the Oracle Applications community with you. One of the best ways that we are able to do this is through publishing and sending to you the OAUG Insight Magazine. This magazine is actually one of our highest rated member benefits and it is produced quarterly. We do mail 10 hard copies to each company. And then, of course, OAUG members can access all of the copies um, of OAUG Insight Magazine through our website. Now, I did mention that we will send 10 hard copies to your company, to any 10 individuals that your ambassador chooses. So if you're not sure who your ambassador is, but you know you'd like a copy of OAUG Insight Magazine, a hard copy, 
to be mailed to you once a quarter, then certainly let me know through the question box or the chat box in your control panel, and I'll be happy to make those changes for you and make sure that the next copy, um, rather than going to your online um, inbox, actually hits your mailbox. So just let me know through the chat box or question box, and I'll be happy to help you with that. The Buyer's Guide is another great resource. It is actually produced annually and packaged with the fall edition of OAUG Insight Magazine. It's also, of course, available online to all of our members, and there is a searchable directory of all of our service providers. So if you're looking for a consultant or a third party to come in and help you with an implementation, an upgrade, anything like that, this is an absolutely great place to start. The OAUG Buyer's Guide also includes how-to guides, case studies, and much, much more. It is a phenomenal resource, and I do encourage you um, to make use of it, certainly, because we do produce it for you. Vendor awareness sessions are another great resource that we offer here at the OAUG. They offer a unique perspective on Oracle applications and um, different products and services that can make your work day easier. So I certainly encourage you to check those out. We work with our vendors to share those with you all as members. And we do have quite a few coming up. Um, we do have one on July 30th, another one on August 11th. And when we take a tour of our website, I do think that you'll notice that one has been added even um, this morning. So I'll let you know about that as well and where you can sign up. OK. We also want to make sure that we are helping you Connect with your peers so that you can learn from one another. You all, as members, are the subject matter experts. You're the ones in these Oracle applications on a daily basis, and you know them um, so, so well. And in many, many cases, we just need to connect your knowledge with the knowledge of our other members. So we believe that one of the best ways to do this is through two of our groups, the geographic groups and the special interest groups. Now, geographic groups are obviously for people within a defined geographic region. They meet often to facilitate networking, share information, and education. And we have um, quite a few really, really strong geographic groups. And we call those geos here at the OEUG. And I'll show you where you can access the complete list of our geos and see if there's anything going on in your neck of the woods, so to speak. Um, I will tell you, I attend quite a few of the GEO events. I just got back from a great meeting in Florida at Sun Collaborate a few weeks ago. Um, before that, I was at the Atlanta GEO meeting. And um, really, really, really great meetings, tons of networking opportunities, and really great content being shared. So I certainly encourage you to check out what's going on in your area and attend those meetings. Normally, they're just one or two days. But it's nice to get out of the office and have the opportunity to network with your peers. We also, here at the OAUG, um, support quite a few special interest groups. And we refer to those as SIGs. SIGs share a common interest concerning specific Oracle applications or products or specific industry. SIG members are geographically dispersed, so they are not um, often able to meet in person. They do a lot of their meetings through conference calls and webinars, and they are really, really, really great. Um, I've had the opportunity to facilitate a few of those calls um, as an OAUG staff person, and I'm here to tell you they are phenomenal. The content presented, the in-depth analysis, the lessons learned, the case studies are really, really great, and I'll show you exactly where to see that complete list, and you can go ahead and join as many special interest groups as you would like. There is no limit. So certainly um, utilize that member benefit. Um, and I did mention that because SIGs are geographically dispersed, they're only able to meet a few times a year in person, but they do often meet at our Collaborate Conference that we have in April. And many of them also meet at Oracle Open World, which is scheduled for late October this year. So um, I certainly encourage you to check those out. We do have a new opportunity here at the OAUG called our OAUG Young Professionals Forum. And this group provides opportunities for members around the world to share best practices, tips and tricks, and ideas for the workplace in general, as well as really in-depth information on Oracle-specific topics. 
So this group, as I mentioned, is completely focused on young and new professionals. So if you are early in your career in general, or early in your career with Oracle applications, we certainly in, um, encourage you and would invite you with warm, open arms to join us on our next call on August 19th at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. And we're going to be discussing analytics. And I'm really, really excited about this particular presentation because one of our own young professionals who's been involved with this group since we kicked it off last year is actually going to be our presenter. And so um, it'll just be an absolutely awesome way for one young professional to present to his peers to share this great information, and it's going to be fantastic. We also have um, our call topics lined up for the rest of the year for the OAUG Young Professionals, and those will be posted to the website next week. So I encourage you to go ahead and sign up for this August 19th call and the October 21st call and the December call. Um, go ahead and get this on your calendar. I don't think you'll regret it at all. And if you're not a young or new professional, don't worry about that either. We do invite um, more seasoned professionals to join us as well if the topic is of interest to you. So everyone is welcome. We also encourage you to connect with others by joining um, our social media outlets. We do have a LinkedIn page. And here you can ask questions, reach out to your peers, share tips and tricks. Um, and we also have a promotions tab where you can talk about upcoming non-OAUG webinars that might be helpful for your peers. There's also a jobs tab so you can post openings for Oracle-related positions within your organization. So um, whether you'd like to post something for your organization or you're looking to make a move, this LinkedIn page, our LinkedIn page, is a great place to start. We also have two Twitter handles that can be very helpful. First, our OAUG Twitter handle is at OAUG. Our official OAUG Twitter handle um, that we use, this is the one that we share the latest and greatest news, and we really keep you up to date and informed on what's going on. As soon as we hear news here at the OAUG, we're going to push that out on Twitter um, and LinkedIn as quickly as possible so that you all have access to that. We also have a, another Twitter handle that we use, at collab underscore OAUG. We talk about our Collaborate Conference. We cover what's going on, what's coming up, updates, prizes. It's a great way, especially on site for the conference, for us to push out those really important updates to all of our attendees and members really quickly to keep everyone in the loop. Um, as that is a huge, huge conference and lots of people running around. So if you are not following us on Twitter, you certainly want to so that you are up to date with everything that's going on with the OAUG. We also, at the OAUG, have a group called the Customer Support Council. They serve as an advocate for the greater Oracle community influencing Oracle product and policy decisions at no additional cost to members. So um, how does this help OAUG members, you might be asking? Well, an example is um, feedback from our OAUG membership and discussions with Oracle have in the past led to Oracle's waiver of extended support fees for a number of product lines. So if you have any questions or Oracle support related concerns, I do certainly encourage you to contact us at support at oaug.org. And then I encourage you as a member to make sure that you are accessing our Support in Focus newsletter. Support in Focus newsletter is um, produced quarterly and it's for our members. And it's a great way to keep up with what OAUG is doing with Oracle to make your work life easier. And I'll show you exactly where to access that in just a few moments. All right, really quickly, we are going to take a very quick tour of our website. And I'm going to show you where just a few key things are. So if you will bear with me for just a moment, I will hop over to the other screen. Okay, everyone. Okay, it looks like we're all back on the same screen again. So when you log in to the OAUG website, oaug.org, this is what you're going to see. This is our home page. And I'm going to point out just a few things here before I show you how to log in. So first, you're going to see this um, middle section right here is scrolling through lots of different information that could be helpful to you. So I certainly encourage you to check it out. There's um, a quick link to the conference paper database. Um, some information about Collaborate. 
We also have right here um, some information about that OEG Connection Point Aztec I mentioned, which is happening later this month. So um, I do encourage you to check out the scrolly screens that you see go by. And then in this section underneath that, you'll see we do have a quick link to support and focus. So right here in this kind of grayish section, we're always going to put for you all as members kind of the next biggest thing is going on. So support and focus, that's the quarterly newsletter produced produced by the Customer Support Council. They work directly with Oracle. That actually was just um, sent out and updated last week. So you can quick link to that right from here. And next to that, we also have a quick link to that OAUG Connection Point Online, and that is the App Tech Online Conference that I mentioned earlier. So you can do a quick link to both of those. Right underneath that, you'll see we have a News and Features section on the bottom left. This is kind of a great place to go and look to see, you know, we're just going to post kind of the latest and greatest stuff here, the three things that you need to know about right now. So e-learnings that are coming up in this month, those are huge. You're going to want to check those out. If you're looking to get involved, um, you can jump right here, and we are looking for members um, to join our technology committee. And right underneath that, we do have a new membership type called the individual user membership, and that's pretty new too. So there's right here are like three main things that you need to know about the OEUG that are going to help you today. And right next to that, we do have our own live Twitter feed right here. So you can see some of the posts that we've put out recently, just kind of updating on what's going on. So that is very exciting. We're going to scroll back up to the top, and I'm actually going to show you guys how to log in. If you don't already have a profile set up, that's the first thing you're going to need to do. So you're going to come up to the top and select, let me go all the way up to the top, select this blue create a profile button right here in the middle. So we're going to do that now, create a profile. Okay, so this is going to say, here's what you're going to do, give you some quick instructions, very nice to have that, and you're going to come down here to this other blue button, and again, click create a new OAUG profile. Okay. So one of the greatest things about our website is that it is always trying to help you. It is always going to say, hey, is this person you? And so you'll see over here on the left, it'll say new to this site. You can go ahead and fill in your information if you are in fact new. Or right here on the right, it'll say, don't you already have an account? And more often than not, this is very accurate. And in fact, that is me, but for the um, purposes of today's webinar, I'm going to create a new account with you. So that we can go through the process together. So all you're going to need to do over here is fill in your first and last name and your email address and your postal code and click continue. And you'll have to give it just a moment as it just needs a moment to think. Okay, when you come to this next page, it is again going to say, are you sure you're not any of these people? They have very similar names and postal codes. And um, as you can see, I have done this a few times in orientation webinars. Um, but we're going to say, no, this is not me, and we're going to continue to create a new account. But if any of those people are you, you can just click the select button over on the side. Okay. So now we're still creating a profile, and we've come to this lovely Create Account page. Lots of important things to do here. I'm going to scroll down just so we can see much of the screen together. Right here, this is a very, very important step, everyone. My employer has an account, has an OAUG account. Right here in this drop-down, you're going to click in the box, and this is where you're going to put your organization's name. It's very important that when you're doing this to remember less is more. Um, oftentimes, we have members of the same company and same organization log in. One person will use all caps. One person will put Z in front of the company name. Someone might use LLC or Inc. or anything like that on the end. So it's best to just start typing the most basic name of your company here and see what pops up. As you can see, um, again, the database and the website is trying to help me match everyone. So um, it'll come up with a whole list of everything that looks like it might be the right group, and you're going to select which 
the group that is, in fact, the correct group. I'll also caution you, as many companies use um, kind of initials, so if, for example, the American Cancer Society was signing up as a member, it could be that the person who put in that company originally used ACS instead of American Cancer Society. So if you do have any issues um, or problems with getting that set up, don't hesitate to reach out to me and I'll be happy to help you um, figure out if your company is a member and attach you to the right one. So that is the most important um, section right up here at the top because if you don't connect yourself to your company, you will not get the member benefits that they are paying for you to have. So um, if your company does in fact have a membership. So you're going to come down here and stop my login. I'm going to create a password for myself and type that in here. I'm going to confirm that password. And um, I'm just going to kind of go down and fill out all of these boxes. And um, I do encourage you to fill out everything, but because we are in a hurry today, I am just going to fill out the start boxes. It is important, though, that when you're creating a profile that you do put as much information as possible to help us know where you are and so that we know where to send that copy of OAUG Insight Magazine. All right, we're going to come down here and now it's um, going to ask you specific questions about the messaging. I want all of the messages, so we're going to leave that be. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and explain how long I've been using Oracle applications and answer just a few questions here and go ahead and click all of those and of course we do want to know how you heard about us so you're going to fill all of that information out and click next. Now we'll see if I really did get all of those fields completed. <laughs> Hopefully I did and we'll be able to move on to the next page. Um, if you did not go, never fear, you will get the red bar of death that will not let you move on until you have completed the fields that we need from you. It looks like we did a great job, and now um, after your profile is created, you will see this lovely page um, detailing all of your information, and you'll know it worked because you have a beautiful green line right here across the top. Fantastic. So now that you're logged in and you have a profile, you can always edit your information right here. You can always change your password right here next to that, and you can make a payment, you can view your account history, you can browse events and event registrations. You can do all kinds of things, discussion boards, um, all kinds of fun stuff. So that's all really, really good. You can also search our membership directory um, and do all kinds of stuff. But what I really want to show to you is down here at the very bottom, you'll see these three little heads and it'll say geos and SIGs. If you are interested in joining a geo or a SIG, this is where you're going to come to sign up. So you can open this, and I'll show you the complete list in just a moment. But if you are interested, um, go ahead and click on all of the geos and SIGs that are of interest to you. I live in Atlanta, so I'm going to join that geo. I'm interested in the cloud, um, in database SIG, and oops, and lots of others. So you'll just want to hold down the control button and then click as many of those SIGs that are of interest to you. So, I mean, you can really just absolutely go nuts and join as many as you want to. So when you do that, you're going to come down here and click this continue button at the bottom, and it will go ahead and let you join all of those special interest groups. For the purposes of today, we are not going to do that. We're just going to hop back over to the OAUG website. And so I'm going to show you now, if you are logged in as a member, there are a few other things only members can access. I'll give you a quick tour of those as soon as it comes up. If you do have any questions, we are nearing the end of our webinar, so go ahead and type those into your question box now, and I'll be happy to help you with that as this page is taking quite a while to load. Um, a few things I will point out while we're waiting. Across the top, you're going to see this blue um, bar and tab with lots of different tabs here, and that those are all very, very, very important, um, and they also offer drop-down menu. So we've already looked at the home page, so that is fantastic. The about page has lots of good information too, but we're going to skip on over to the membership. And we're going to drop down to the OEUG orientation page first. So here, um, if you thought today's session was helpful, it will be posted this afternoon, or you can always watch the last video. The last one was June 4th. We have that here. So if you have any colleagues that are new to the OEUG as well, 
go ahead and encourage them to come watch these videos or join our next orientation on August 5th. Under that, we do have our ambassador program. Each company does have an ambassador, and they're the designated kind of go-to person that we reach out to at the OAUG, whether that's to update the company membership profile or to um, make sure that we have the right people receiving copy of OAUG Insight Magazine or whatever. So if you want to know who your ambassador is for your organization, um, email me, and I'll be happy to tell you who that person is so that you're getting what you need from them. All right, and then the very bottom page under this is the OAUG Young Professionals. So here we have kind of an overview of what the Young Professionals Forum is, and you can actually access all of the past webinars that we have done. We do hold a webinar and conference call every other month, so you can see all of these from last year that we've recorded. And you can go ahead and register for upcoming webinars as well. So lots of exciting stuff there. Under education events, we're going to drop down to OAUG e-learning. So here we do have even another, I thought we had another e-learning that had been scheduled even since I put together the PowerPoint. So if you're interested in any of the upcoming webinars, all you need to do is click on the title of the webinar and it's asking me to log in, which is taking quite a while. But if I were logged in, you could go ahead and register for that particular webinar right there on that page. Um, so I do encourage you to check that out. And over here to the left, you'll see we have 2015, 2014, 2013, all of these recordings. So if you're interested in accessing um, the archive of e-learning, you can do that right over here. And you can also search by topic up in the search bar at the top. So that's a great, great resource as well. And now that it's come up and I'm logged in, all you have to do to register for the webinar is click that blue register here button and you are good to go. Underneath that, we're going to drop down to the conference and events tab. And here you can kind of see these are recent events that we've had. This is our upcoming event. If you want to know more about that OAUG Connection Point Ask Tech online conference or go ahead and register here, um, you can do all of that right here. So that is a great, great resource as well. And then we're going to jump over to the conference paper database page. And this page is so full of content, it often takes a few minutes to load, but it was pretty quick today. So, as I mentioned, there are over 5,000 conference papers um, or white papers here on this conference paper database. So, tons and tons of information. I highly suggest utilizing the search bar at the top of the page. Um, search for whatever you're looking for. The cloud is a hot topic right now, so all you need to do is type that in, click go, and it will do the work for you and pull up lots of conference papers that might be of interest to you on the cloud. So an extensive list there. I think it's actually multiple pages. Um, that's a lot. So I certainly encourage you to utilize that. Next, we're going to jump over to the User Communities tab, and I'm going to show you a quick list. These are all of the geos that we saw earlier, and you can quick link to all of their pages from here. So um, a great, great resource. See what's going on in your area, and go ahead and, and jump in with them and get some of that educational content. Right under that we have the six, the special interest groups. Now this list is really expansive. Um, so again, look at this complete list. You can go to their specific websites and then when you're ready, go back to your login page and go ahead and join those geos or SIGs. So great, great resources here. Um, on the under resources, we're going to jump over to the OAUG membership directory really quickly. If you met someone at a conference or want to talk to someone else who uses the application that you do, you can come over here and search our membership directory for those people and then reach out to them. Um, and you can search by organization, name, person's first or last name, their zip code, their job function, the Oracle products used, or primary industry. So that's a great resource as well. We're going to jump over to the publications tab really quickly. And I'm going to show you guys just a few key things. Under this tab, you will see a list of all of our publications. So OAUG Insight Magazine is our magazine. Remember, that's one of our highest rated member benefits. Next to that is OAUG E-News. This is sent out on the 10th of every month. So if you are subscribed, you do not have to be a member to get OAUG E-News. I certainly encourage everyone to get it because it is a, the biggest newsletter we produce, and it's a rundown of everything going on with OAUG. So you definitely want that. Underneath that, we have OAUG Research Link. Um, it's an exclusive information resource for OAUG members only. 
and it um, reviews executive summaries providing proprietary research results about trends of interest to Oracle applications users. So that's a mouthful, but it's a great resource as well, and I certainly encourage you to check that out. Under that, we do have the Education Network. This newsletter is produced and emailed out on third, the last Wednesday of every month, and it is a detail of all the educational offerings coming up with the OEG that will take place that next month. So great, great, great resource right there. Um, and you do not have to be a member to get that, so I do encourage everyone to make sure you get that newsletter. Next to that, we do have Support in Focus, and this is the newsletter that is produced quarterly with the help of our Customer Support Council to let you know what's going on with Oracle support and provide tips and tricks, lessons learned, and case studies. Only members can access Support and Focus, and it is a really top-notch newsletter that's just going to provide it a wealth of information. And then last but not least, we have the OEUG Buyer's Guide. You'll remember this comes out once a year with the um, fall edition of OEUG Insight Magazine. And it is um, just a great, great resource full of um, who's who, who can help you when you're looking for solutions and solutions providers within the Oracle applications environment. And really quickly, we're going to jump over to the Partners tab and scroll down to Vendor Awareness Sessions. Um, I mentioned the, we had a, quite a few of these coming up, so that one is done. We have a few. If you're interested in kind of getting that outside perspective, you can check out these lists here. And if you're interested in jumping on any of these, just click Register Today. It will register you, and you are good to go. Okay, everyone, I do apologize. I went just a little bit over our time limit today. If you do have any questions, please go ahead and throw those in the question box and I'll be happy to answer them for you. I'll also be sending an email to follow up with you and thank you for coming. So if you have any questions, um, certainly let me know there too and I will be happy to help. Um, thank you all for attending our webinar today. You can always call us directly at 404-240-0897, extension 2, or email us at membership at oeug.org. Thanks again for joining us. I wish you all um, a very happy holiday weekend and um, hope everything is great. If you do have any questions, let us know. Thanks again.